I want everybody to meet our next guest uh, who is in studio with me here, and she is an artist, and uh, and uh, you're going to love her work because we're going to put some pictures up here in just a moment. I want you to meet uh, Sayaka Gans, who is an artist originally from Yokohama, Japan, and I want to welcome you to Coffee and Conversation. Thank you. It's great to be here. You've lived all over the world, as a matter of fact. Where, yes. where, where else have you lived? Well, um, when I was nine years old, my family moved from Japan to Brazil, Sao Paulo, well, Brazil. Well, that was a jump, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit of a shock yeah. for me. I bet it was. <laughs> uh, and then you lived in Hong Kong for a while? Yeah, yeah, for about a year and a half when mm -hmm. I was in high school. And then from Hong Kong, I moved to the United States, and I attended Indiana University in Bloomington. Oh, very good. So you've lived in the Midwest, too. Yeah, I've lived in, um, in Indiana since 1995. It's the longest I've lived in one place in my whole life. <laughs> nice to put down roots, isn't it? <laughs> yes. You are a sculptor, uh -huh. and uh, your work is now on display at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science yes. until uh, the middle of May. Yes. Uh, congratulations. How did you get selected for this? Thank you. Well, um, this exhibition is a traveling exhibition that's curated by my curator, Dr. David Wagner. And um, I met him through another traveling exhibition that he curated that I was a part of. It's a group show. And um, we developed a relationship, and um, it's, it's worked out really great for me. When you go see your work on display in a museum like this, uh, how, do, how does it make you feel? Oh, it's it's unreal. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> and this is the biggest that this exhibition has been because in the previous venue, I only had about half of the works that's in this show right now. Um, the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science has um, a much bigger ex exhibition space. Yeah. And so they requested a lot more of my work. And so I ended up um, yeah, sending just about everything I had in my inventory. Oh, my goodness. You're known for your um, animals. They they seem to be moving. They're they're in motion. They're yeah. uh, you can see the 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 energy of these animals in your work. Uh -huh. Yeah, I tried to use the plastic items as uh, brush strokes, almost like an impressionist painting. And that's how I create a sense of movement. Like in old cartoons, you know how uh, there is um, like lines that express movement right. when somebody's running fast or something. And that's how I use my plastics. Very interesting. You, you, is your work primarily in plastic? Is that how you yeah. do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now I'm using mostly plastic. I have a, a metal armature inside of the plastic sculptures when they become larger so that they have structural support. But most of the visual elements are really uh, discarded plastic items. How do you uh, how do you work with the plastic? Do you have to heat it? Uh, what's the method? Yes. Um, so I'm always collecting, and that's kind of I think that's the most important part of my job, actually, yeah. to be collecting. Uh -huh. um, and then I organize by color. Um, I do heat some of the plastic items with a heat gun just so that I can bend them yeah. because um, I need curves. I like my lines to be very organic looking. And um, some of these items, like coat hangers and ladles, have b beautiful curves in mm -hmm. their design naturally. Mm -hmm. But... Um, some of the items that are really straight, uh, I like to use a heat gun to bend. Yeah. When you're at the exhibit and you're hearing people talking about the art, <laughs> uh, uh, tell us how, how that works for you. Do you hear, hear their impressions of what they're seeing? and Do you take that in and m maybe make it part of your next project? Yeah, it gives me quite a thrill yeah, usually sure. to hear people's response and um, especially when people first discover what my work's made of, I think there's um, a great deal to do with just the distance where you're looking at my work. Uh -huh. So when you're far enough away, you really just see the overall impression of an animal in motion. And yeah. then you don't really necessarily see that they're made from discarded items that, yeah. that you recognize. You're a recycling artist is what you are. Right, yeah. yes, exactly. <laughs> no kidding. What, uh, what, what's next for you? Where, where are you taking your art career next? Well, this exhibition is from here going to Las Vegas, to the Springs Res Preserve. Uh -huh. um, and um, 
Right now, I have a commission project uh, where I live in Fort Wayne, Indiana, that I'm almost finished with, and um, nice. and I don't really know what's next for me, actually. Isn't it fun to make your living doing this, though? Yes, it is. Um, I feel very fortunate, and um, not everyone gets to do this. I realize that. Um, yeah. It, that that's really important. Have, have, how long are you staying in New Mexico? Are you here during the whole course of it, or are you going back to Indiana? Back yes, um, I'm leaving early Sunday morning. Uh-huh. So this is a short trip, and yeah. I wish I could stay longer. You like it here, huh? I love it. Yeah. The mountains. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. I got to see them turn pink the other day. Yeah, that's why they're named the Sandias, right? Yeah, that's what I yeah. hear. Oh, it's amazing. Only an artist would really appreciate that, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. You are delightful. Uh, the, the exhibit will be on display at uh, the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science until May 17th of this year. And uh, uh, we've shown our TV audience some of the the work. Um, yes. And go out and see it for yourself. It's How many pieces are in the exhibit, roughly? I think over 20. Yeah. And that's counting the um, like groupings as one. Uh-huh. I have uh, many sculptures. Some are... Uh, with lights inside, LEDs, and uh-huh. they glow. The plastics glow almost like stained glass. It's really beautiful. Wow. And those are new to the exhibit. Was that a new idea that you just recently put into your work? Um, I've been doing it for several years now, but relatively new, yes. Interesting. Interesting. How, how did your early childhood growing up in Japan develop your sense of artistic impression? Um, I think I grew up um, doing lots of origami, uh-huh. and that kind of gave me this um, appreciation for geometric shapes and who, recognizing Who taught you animals. the origami? Um, my mom at first, uh-huh. and then I did some at school as well, but I loved it so much that I always asked for origami books for my uh-huh. birthday uh-huh. and Christmas, and so I just learned on my own as well. I, f- I find that people that like sculpture mm-hmm. and who create sculpture are very tactile they yes. they like they like to make shapes they like to th- have their hands on things yes. that are very uh visible and and uh, work with shapes like that and that's you yeah yeah for me um if you give me a lump of clay or blank sheet of paper i don't know what to do with it and i need it's almost like my materials become my collaborators and Uh friends and i have to have these this input from them in order to create something now when you're making the animals are you using uh photographs or models or anything like that to Mm -hmm. or you use how do you do that Many, many photographs. I do extensive research, mm-hmm. mostly online these days, and I try to really understand the form. I don't really get into anatomy too much because I feel like that would um, take my focus away too much from the movement because I want to really be about the movement more than anything. But but at the same time, if I put the joint in the wrong place or uh-huh. if I make the legs too short or something, that's going to be noticeable, so I want to avoid that. Well, best wishes to your continued success. Thank you for sharing your work here in New Mexico. Thank you so much. And, I'm delighted and, to be here. Well, thank you for coming on our program, too. You, you can see um, uh, Sayaka's work at uh, the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, the exhibit will be up until May 17th of this year. Go on out and uh, take it in and, and enjoy uh, this beautiful artwork from our, our guest, Sayaka Gans. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. All right. We'll be back with more in just a moment here on Coffee and Conversation.